Hi everyone, hope you're okay. So it's that time of month again to do my February favourite. And I've kind of got a lot of makeup to show you this month, not very much kind of other stuff, so I hope that's kind of okay. So I'm just going to get started because I don't want to be here for too long because my favourite video will always seem to be like really, really long. So I'm going to start with um, makeup brushes. And I've been loving the Real Techniques brushes like everyone else seems to have in like the beauty world. Um, so I, don't, I think I mentioned that I got this stippling brush and blush brush for Christmas. And this month the stippling brush I've kind of used a new kind of, found a new use for it. And that is with my cream blushes which I'm going to kind of talk to you a little bit more about soon. I also, because Real Techniques are now in boots. So obviously Boots is a drugstore here in the UK so it means that they're a lot more readily available which is really really good and I bought the shading brush because it was only 7 99 and I really wanted kind of a little brush so I could really kind of get in the crease of my eye and this is fab for doing that. I know that a lot of people use it for like concealer too but I really like it for kind of getting in the crease and kind of blending you can make it like a little bit more winged so that's really cool. And then I also bought the core cool collection with my Vantage card points. I've been saving up so I was so excited because I got these for like free. And probably like everyone else, these two are my favourite brushes from the collection. It's the blending, the buffing brush, sorry. Um, and this is great for foundation. It's kind of, it's really soft. It just kind of, it's just really good. And then of course the contour brush. I'm kind of really getting into contouring at the moment. Hoping that a bit of contour will make me mean that I look like a Kardashian, which obviously doesn't. Okay, so next is a bit of kind of a miscellaneous kind of item and I've used this like a few years ago and then I picked it up again a couple of weeks ago because I've been kind of, I suffer from headaches now and then, I think it's kind of, I worry way too much than what I should and I think I get like stress related headaches and I've been really liking forehead and it's a natural headache treatment and it's basically like a little stick and you rub it on the area that you have a headache and it's kind of mouthful and it makes the area go really really cold and it is just fab because usually I tend to wake up with headaches and I don't like taking paracetamol when I haven't had anything to eat because it makes me feel sick so by using this I can kind of get away with not be taking paracetamol straight away and it really really helps so definitely worth checking that out um, moving on to makeup, so as I mentioned before I'm really liking my Topshop cream blushes this month. I think I always kind of liked the colour but I kind of never knew how to apply them, I never knew what brush to use. So now that I've found a brush in the Real Technique stippling brush I kind of haven't stopped using them. But I really like flush at the moment because it's like a bit brighter and it kind of works really well with my skin tone because sometimes head over heels which is a really nice peachy colour it can look a bit too much as like I'm usually like a bit orange so it means that it's basically just like one big face of orange but with the pink it kind of helps add a bit more definition and I'm really liking it. And carrying on the cream blushes I bought this from Boots kind of just on a, a whim and it's the Maybelline Dream Touch blush and I think this is the shade peach and I'd heard a lot of people on vlogs and stuff talk about the one apricot but this one seemed to be a bit new and to be honest I kind of use this as a bit of a highlight shade I use this on top of flush and they work really really well together and it kind of just creates a really nice kind of pinky almost kind of peachy shade but I'm really liking that like when I first got it I was a bit like oh, I'm not sure on its own it kind of just adds a bit of kind of like a glowy cheek which is fine but I usually like quite a lot of colour on my cheeks so if because if you like a bit more pale than I am then it probably work really well and it's only like six pounds definitely though these are only like six pounds so definitely check them all out foundation wise um I've been really liking the kind of dewy fresh look this month and I re I finally picked up the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I really like the original Bourjois, Bourjois Healthy Mix and I'd heard a lot about this and I kind of thought it was kind of up my street. I got it in the shade 56 which is kind of the perfect colour to when I've got a fake tan on and then I mix the two of the old, old Bourjois and this one together because the other one's a bit lighter. And they work really well and so far I'm really liking it. I mean it's not the most long lasting foundation in the world and to be honest I like to mix it with something else because on its own it's kind of a bit too light coverage and a bit too dewy for me but when I mix it with the other bourgeois healthy mix or like Estee Lauder double wear works really really nice and it gives you like a really kind of nice healthy look to your skin. Moving on to kind of concealer I bought the Benefit Professional Primer this month which I kind of I'm not 100% sure which is why I haven't included it in my favourites yet I don't even think I'm ready to even give it a proper review yet 
but in the kit that I got it with I got the Benefit Erase Paste and I'm really really liking this. It's kind of a full coverage creamy concealer that is perfect for under the eyes. It is just the perfect under eye concealer. Top, I've been using my Body Shop Illuminate and Touch which is basically a dupe for the Yves Laurent Touch Eclat. Obviously it's a lot cheaper. Moving on to mascara, I bought this from Boots and that is the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara. I used it, I used to have this a couple of years ago and it's got like a really kind of big brush and I got the gold one because it said it was like limited edition for the Olympics. I don't even like the Olympics, I'm not bothered, but I wanted the gold one. And the reason why I bought this is because you got 500 points on your Advantage card, which is probably one of, which is one of the reasons why I managed to afford the brushes on my Advantage card. So I got £5 worth of points and this is like £10.99 and I'm really liking it, it's really good. It's kind of definitely kind of blown my Rimmel mascara out of the water. Um, and I was like, why did I stop using this? So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Also eyes, um, my Naked Palette 1, I kind of neglected this in January because I was really desperate to use the Naked 2 palette and then when it came I was disappointed and I kind of wanted to make the most out of it so I kind of used it to try and get myself to love it and then in the end I just thought I may as well just start using this one and I've been really liking, I'll tell you what my favourite combination this month has been, um, I've been loving Sidecar which is this one here and Smog which is this one here next to Half Late, which is Hit Pan. I've been really liking these together. I've been really liking kind of like a smoky, warm brown eye. And these work really, really well together. They so moving on to lips. Um, I only bought this like a few days ago, but I thought I like it so much it's going to make it into my February favourites video. And that is Koi from Topshop. And it's they're called their Lipstick. And it's basically a lip pencil and... It's kind of, it's almost like one of the, it's like a really bad formula, it's really drying, it's really matte, it kind of shouldn't work but it does, um, you kind of have to take your time when applying it, and then I always put like a gloss over the top because it's a bit too matte for me. I really like the colour, I've got it on now, and I think, it, like I've been kind of getting into brighter lips lately, so this kind of gives me an excuse to get into brighter lips, but it's not too shocking, it's like really nice for the daytime, and you can kind of just do the one kind of, coat around your lips and you kind of got like a bit of a stain and you can kind of build it up so yeah I'm really really liking that and I definitely would check it out if you have got it in like makeup on your local Topshop or order from online it's like really really good value all the makeup from Topshop is really really good value and then over the top and I've been loving this um like even before I bought Koi um the Love Hearts MUA lip balm I went to the launch of this earlier this month and I was really really impressed with the products, um, the lip balms are £2, which is amazing, and you get 10 grams worth of products, which is a lot. And this is my favourite colour from the range, it's called Sweet Kiss, and it's a really kind of cute, kind of almost corally, pinky colour that looks really nice on the lips. There's not much kind of colour to it, there's like a tiny little bit of kind of the colour, so it's not too bright, but it's really nice, and it also smells of vanilla. And then also from that range, I've been loving this nail polish, it's called You Rock, and it, I don't usually like purple nail polishes, I don't think they tend to suit my skin tone, but this is the most perfect purple polish. I put this on my nails, and I just kept looking at them, because I was just like, wow. Um, it's kind of like a blue toned purple, but it's just really, really cute. Again, it's only £2, which is an absolute bargain, and it's just really nice. There's some also talking the nail polishes, I've been really liking the new Models Owns one that have been released. They've released like her Freshen Up range, which is all pastels, and I'm loving pastels at the moment. And I've actually got this on my nails right now with a Topshop kind of glitter overcoat, and this is Soda Pop Pink. And I've got so many pink nail polishes in my nail polish collection. If you've watched my nail polish collection video, you will know how many pink nail polishes I have, but this is completely different toned pink to anything else I own it's kind of like more like a raspberry pink and it's really really pretty I've been really liking this right then um moving on to fake tan I finally bit the bullet and bought some x I kind of had to say it, it's like xylophone isn't it and x n n tan is that it n n tan x n tan I don't know ah, that's it and I bought the dark lotion so um, I've kind of, I've run out of my Saint-Tropez um, kind of lotion and I kind of thought, I kind of like having a high-end 
perfect hand to mix with kind of like my St. Moritz because I think it makes it kind of last a lot longer. So I want to feel unique and I got this for $17.99 which I think is a really, really good price actually. I always thought this was really expensive but when you work out that you get 236 mils which is this bottle for $17.99 and the saint Tropez, I think you get 120 mils for £20 so this you're getting like almost double the amount of saint Tropez, and it's cheaper definitely get it from Feel Unique they also do free delivery and it's a lot lot cheaper than like um, department stores so I'm really really liking this I um it kind of, it smells really nice when you apply it, it kind of smells like marzipan, I don't really like marzipan but it smells really nice when you kind of put it on, it smells better than usual fake tan smell. Um, it kind of goes on really easily, like I just use mitt, and then it lasts for ages, this actually lasted for ages because I always put um, like normal fake tan on my face as well. And this lasted for like quite a few days, even when I was like using my Clarisonic, it just seemed to kind of, it lasts, it says that it kind of boasts its weekly safe to sell it. It's a weekly fake tan, so it means that you only have to put it on once a week. And I have to say, um, last night I did put on like a little bit of gradual tanner because I felt I was getting a little bit pale. But I'd had it on since Sunday night and it was Friday night, so it went on for like five days. So I think that's pretty impressive because usually when you get to like the three, four day mark it starts to patch. But I've had no patchiness and it's only just kind of started to fade. So I'm really impressed with that. It's really long lasting and there's like a, you get a lot of products so really really like that and it also goes really dark I tend to put about two layers on and I go really nice and dark so that's cool um moving on to like a bath product is the I've been really liking the I love coconut and cream bath, bubble bath and shower cream I actually got sent this and I'd kind of heard of these um rain like products before but I'd never kind of got around to buying them and these are from Superdrug, Morrisons and the co-op and this big bottle which is 500 mils is two pound which i think is a bargain it also smells so yummy mm, i love the smell of coconut and this is kind of coconut and cream so it's kind of got like a vanilla-y aspect to it too and it's great because you can use that as a bubble bath or as a shower gel and when i first heard that i was a bit like oh because when products are kind of two and one they kind of sometimes can irritate my skin but this is really nice it's really good for you it's really soft and it also creates loads of bubbles when you put it in a bubble bath, so I really like that. Okay, and then finally, kind of, definitely kind of not kind of beauty related, but I felt like I had to talk about this. I have been loving my Kindle this month, and in particular, I have been loving The Hunger Games. Currently, I've just finished the second one, and I'm on to the third one next, which is called Mockingjay. I was a bit kind of skeptical when I first heard about the Hunger Games I thought that's not really for me but I cannot recommend them enough they're kind of I know people are probably going to hate me for this but they are definitely kind of like the next kind of Twilight books um I obviously really like Twilight and I love the books I read them all in about the space of about two weeks and it's about the same with the Hunger Games it's but with the Hunger Games it's kind of a lot more kind of tragic um there's not that much romance to be honest it's kind of it's hard, it's hard to explain, but I've been really liking it, I've been really liking my Kindle too. When I first got this for Christmas I was a bit like, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, will I miss like reading a proper book? But I read a book the other day and I thought I actually prefer my Kindle. It's so easy, you can just pop onto the Amazon store and get samples of books, which is just so, so good. Literally cannot recommend these enough. But yeah, I've been really loving The Hunger Games, I stayed up to like 1 o'clock last night, like reading them because um, I just wanted to finish the second one and but they give me I don't know if anyone else does this they give me like really vivid dreams like some of the stuff that happens like really scares me like especially when they're in the arena for the Hunger Games it like really really scares me but I'm really looking forward to the film coming out I'm hoping it's as good as the book was um and I'm going to be dragging my boyfriend along to go see that when it comes out later on in March so that is my February favourite hopefully I haven't forgotten anything I don't think I have but yeah so I really hope you like this February favourites it's definitely kind of like a drugstore favourite month which is good for the money and um, remember if you have any requests for videos then please please let me know and apart from that thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye